A Brisbane company is bringing new life-saving technology to our shores to prevent drownings in public pools. The high-tech cameras are being used successfully overseas and in New South Wales, but Queensland councils aren't yet on board. This is no demonstration. You are literally watching someone drown. Remarkably, others swim back and forth on the surface, oblivious to the tragedy unfolding below. This is another all-too-real drowning in motion. And another. And another. But all of these awful scenarios have something in common. In every case, there is a happy ending. In each of these pools, cameras coupled to sophisticated software have detected the motionless swimmers and sent a warning to poolside lifeguards. In each case, the swimmer is rescued before it's too late. When someone drowns, you've really got 30 seconds to get to them in time to prevent them getting serious injury or death. So the, the system pinpoints exactly where they are to make the lifeguard get there in time. All of these rescues were performed in overseas pools. Already we've had 30 drownings that have been detected and the person successfully saved. In Australia, the only pools to use this life-saving technology are in Blacktown, Sydney. They know it works. Yeah, absolutely. We've had uh, two distinct uh, situations where we've saved lives, where the, uh, the system alerted our lifeguards. On the Gold Coast this week, a toddler was found by his mother at the bottom of the Southport pool. He wasn't breathing, but luckily he was revived. A lot of stress and distress around a potential drowning situation, which can be avoided by having a, a system like this that can help eliminate uh, or certainly reduce the amount of drownings in Australia. Imagine for a moment a scenario like this. It's the height of summer and a pool like this is filled with something like 50 to 100 swimmers. And on the side of the pool, there's just one lifeguard trying to keep an eye on all of them, trying to keep everyone safe. The system is basically a third eye for our lifeguards, so it helps them see more in the pools. This footage illustrates how someone clearly visible on the bottom of a pool virtually disappears from sight at the slightest disturbance of the surface water. Makes it almost impossible to see through the water. Brisbane City Council says it's aware of the Matronics technology. A spokesman says public pools cost millions to build. Adding the cost of the surveillance system adds unnecessary cost. What price do you put on a life? The system cost us $300,000 to install and I think anyone would agree that that's a, that's a small price to pay for saving somebody's life. Phil Wilmington, Nine News.